A few years ago, Quinton Reviews was somewhat of a well-respected YouTuber, associated with many YouTubers of high regard, such as Turkey Tom and The Right Opinion. Personally, although possibly an embarrassing admission, I had watched some of Quinton's videos a few years ago, probably around 2015, and because of this, got to see some of the downfall that Quinton embarked on. The things about Quinton that made him fall from, well, any kind of grace I suppose, are politics, stupidity, and general creepiness. Some are the regular factors that makes lol cows lol cows. What really put Quinton on the map was his videos relating to commentary, doing videos on large creators at the time, Leafy is here and Grade A under A, where he would mainly talk about their failures. This turned out to be quite successful, gaining many views, and allowing Quinton to connect with other creators as I stated in the introduction. During this time, Quinton was also making his signature content, with these being channel awesome-esque reviews of movies and shows, with one of his main focuses being Doctor Who. However, Quinton began to find himself disillusioned with those he had previously aligned with during the 2018 VidCon. Anita Sarkeesian held a panel, and the skeptic side of YouTube, such as Sargon of Akkad, whom Quinton agreed with, attended this panel and angered Anita. This seemed to be the turning point for Quinton having a political shift and completely separating with those who were somewhat a part of this community, as well as many other people who he had been friendly with, such as Turkey Tom. I couldn't care less about people's political opinions, and I'm sure that many other people do either. The repercussions of this was that he obviously lost friends. Also, with this political shift, he infamously began introducing politics into his videos, which is a great idea as politics in no way is a divisive topic. This was notoriously done in his review of The Thinning 2, a bad movie with the only hook really being that it stars Logan Paul. During this review, he said this. So, um, here's the thing. I fucking hate Trump. He embarrasses me every day. He makes us all look like backwards idiots, and frankly, the fact that he got elected means that we probably are all backwards idiots. Uh, he's ruining people's lives. He's making horrible racist de decisions, which are probably going to have long-lasting repercussions long after he's out of office. Overall, I would be a much happier person if we found a way to deport him from every position of power that he has ever had. But on that note, I feel like if this is a movie about Trump, they're doing a bad job. Now, I understand his point. He is stating that even the writers of this movie made it that anti-Trump that it was too far even for him, someone who really hates Trump. However, he didn't need to go on a whole rant about how much he hates Trump. Just saying that he's not particularly fond of Trump would have been fine, and likely wouldn't have been memed and hated so much as it had been. Further throughout 2018, Quinton continued to embarrass himself, although mainly on Twitter, and mainly having bad takes on PewDiePie, although this is a trend that has continued throughout the years. Such stupidity includes Quinton criticising PewDiePie for having Ben Shapiro on one of his videos, something that annoyed Quinton as it humanised him. A truly abhorrent decision, as Ben Shapiro clearly isn't human. Quinton also criticised PewDiePie for people subscribing to him, in order to prevent T-Series from becoming the largest YouTube channel. For making such a stupid take, people made fun of him, making him pull down the video. Although, that didn't quite stop people from re-uploading it, making him pull down these videos. However, something quite dear to Quinton was released, because he DMCA'd these videos. This being his full name. So, as a result of Quinton failing to receive criticism, he doxed himself. Quite the accomplishment. When you constantly do stupid things, you can't be surprised when people make fun of you for your actions. One of the people that began making fun of Quinton was Mumkey Jones. These pot shots at Quinton were a result of his stupidity and not anything out of his control. However, in December 2018, 
the Monkey Jones channel was terminated from YouTube. Quinton, a man of honour who would not kick someone when they're down, decided to laugh at Monkey's plight and felt good that his channel and livelihood were gone. Emp Lemon, a friend of Monkey's, was angry about Quinton's actions, which eventually led to him inviting Quinton to a podcast he, Monkey, and Rusty Cage hosted called State of the YouTube. Even without Monkey's presence, the podcast did not go too well for Quinton, with him failing to defend himself and ruining the audio of the podcast by playing with Lego. This was largely the end of the situation, with none of the Soti boys caring too much anymore about Quinton's stupidity. Until the middle of February 2019, where Quinton decided to message a fake Monkey account where he says some not so good things basically crying to who he thought was Mumkey. So, not only did he make an ass of himself, he sent this to the wrong account, and this a random person, and, by the way, did this all unprovoked. With Quinton's political change, he began taking more of an interest in BreadTube, specifically the women aligned with this side of YouTube. Lindsay Ellis is one of these women. Now, if you know about Lindsay Ellis, or have watched my movie bob video, Lindsay had not been having too great of a time regarding lol cows, as in November 2020, Lindsay had to expose Bob for being a weirdo. Well, in January of 2021, Lindsay accidentally revealed that Quinton was a weirdo, as he was creepy and annoying, sending her loads of DMs on Twitter trying to talk to her, clearly not taking the hint. In response to being exposed on Twitter, Quinton stated that he was really down and could use some nice messages. After being sad and going out into the rain, which apparently made him feel better, he got really angry that Lindsay had done this to him. Expose him, that is, not just go out with him. Although it's probably a bit of both. For a long time, especially in 2020, it seemed like Quinton had given up and that his channel was stagnating, with many of his tweets during this time confirming his feelings. People had refused to work with him, and things that he attempted merchandise-wise, such as his plushies, failed. Despite these roadblocks, Quinton has actually managed to do somewhat well for himself. Recently, he has been making videos on topics such as iCarly and Victorious, with these videos being hours long. Now, I have no fucking idea who is watching these videos. Who cares about these different shows? But I have to say, it really has worked for Quinton, as they have quickly become some of the most popular things on the channel. He really has managed to fall into success. Whilst not having extreme success, subscribers-wise, he has been doing well for himself, views-wise. So, I guess this is the route he is going to take with his channel. Which, if it works, it works I guess, despite how stupid I find the topics to be.